Hi, Jordan and Damien from Team KDS, and today we're going to be doing the upgrade on the Teleassembly gears for the Agile 7.2. The first things you're going to need to install this upgrade are the the gold rear tail gear upgrade, the white Delrin gear upgrade, which is going to replace this gear, and then it's another package, but I don't have it, and it's and it has two of these red collars. You're only going to need one for this upgrade. So uh, you're going to need three parts that you're need, going to need to purchase. You're going to need a 1.5 and a 2 millimeter hex driver, some red and blue Loctite, and let's get started. So the first thing is we're going to undo our tail assembly. So we're going to take our 1.5 millimeter hex driver and loosen the, these set screws on the collar, just like so. Now that's all loose. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen the pin from the tail, the white tail gear, just like so. And we're going to pull this out. You're not going to need this anymore uh, since it's going to come with an upgraded pin, so we can put that to the side. The next thing you're going to want to do is take your 1.5 and loosen the two back screws on your tail case. And what that's going to do is let the bearing slide out. So what we're going to do is pull this back, pull this gear out, so we're going to put that to the side. The next thing we're going to do is We'll pull this little red collar out as well, put that to the side. And then we're going to take our 2 millimeter and loosen up the two screws and pull those off. You're going to want to take those completely out so it doesn't dent the case around the edges. So we're going to remove these two set screws from the gold crown gear. Pull this crown gear off. You won't be using this at all. So you can put that to the side. And then we're going to have this, which is the uh, shaft. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out our new gold gear. And we're going to also reuse our old screws. And you want to use acetone or alcohol to remove the oil from the screws. So those already have an oil coating on those, which we're not going to strip. So we've got our brand new screws. I'm going to take our other white plastic here. Now you're going to take out this pin that is used for this white gear. You'll notice that there's a little slot in the back, and that slot is where that pin is going to lock into. That's going to spin the tail. So we got our pin now. And these gears on a website can be very uh, misconceiving. You can, it looks like they're the same exact thing. They are not. So you're going to notice these, these teeth on the old gear are a lot more, a lot thicker. Uh, the one, and it's a lot smaller of a gear. The new gear is a lot, a little bit bigger, a lot finer teeth, more teeth. Uh, the old gear right here is a lot, um, a little bit taller and it's also it's a little bit smaller and the teeth are a little bit different on this one uh, from compared to the new gear so you do need to buy both of these gears to confirm that and the old one old white gear this has a pen that screws in um, that you tighten to lock it down to the shaft on the new new gear the pin there's a pin that's going to lock that you're going to pull through. So I'll show you that on the assembly of this. So let's put the old gear to the side. The first thing you're going to want to start with is you're going to pop this bearing out. If it doesn't come out easily or you can't get it out, uh, you're going to have to take some heat to this. So just take a lighter, something just to warm this up, uh, just to get the uh, Loctite or any of the uh, bearing glue loose. The next thing that we're going to do is 
We're gonna take our red collar, this gear, this gear and our pin. We're gonna take the shaft right here, slip it through halfway, just until it's below the bearing. Take our new gear and slide it in. Then the next thing is you want to line up, make sure that, because there is two uh, slots, you want to make sure that the, the flat spots line up on both sides. And you're going to want to push these together, make sure there's, that there, uh, there's no slop. Then we're going to take our two millimeter driver with our little set screw from before. And we are going to use a little bit of red Loctite on this part. So just on half of the screw, just a little bit of red Loctite. Uh, you don't want to do the whole screw and then wipe off the excess just so it's in half the threads. If you have too much of the red Loctite, it will be very hard to remove next time. So push these, the gear and make sure you line up the flat spot and start screwing this set screw in until it touches and back it off just a tad tad bit and then make sure it fits snugly together and wiggle it just to make sure that um, you're not tightening it um, off of this flat spot. Now you're going to tighten that so until it stops and then a uh, about just a little over an eighth of a turn no more you don't want to do a quarter so in between a quarter and an eighth of a turn so the next thing is we're gonna to go to the other side and apply some Loctite some thread locker some red and we're gonna put that on this just like before halfway And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to tighten this down, just like so, until it stops, and then our turn. So now this is all set. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is take your red collar. Uh, make sure as well, you're going to notice there's a lip. The lip of the red collar is going to touch the baron. So Make sure the flat side is facing uh, that way. The lip is going to touch the bearing so that this is not rubbing. Then you're going to take your red collar, slip that on. Take your white gear, slip that in. And now you're going to want to take this whole shaft assembly and slide it all the way through until it gets to the other side. This is a little bit hard to do got this it's just like so so you're gonna have the hole all the way on the other side just like that then you're going to want to take your pin that was included and then put that through halfway line it up with that that little slot and then take your bearing pop that on the back just like so Snugly put this in. You're going to take a little bit of force to get this bearing in. So you're going to want to take your finger, hold around both sides of the case, and just make sure that bearing is nicely pressed in. The next thing that you're going to want to do is take the little end screws with some blue thread locker. And we're going to put some Loctite. And this one you can do the whole thread. Just wipe off the excess. We're going to screw this in. You want to use blue Loctite for the reason of these little screws can strip very easily. So you just want to do it till it stops in a very, very small turn. You don't want to tighten these down too tight. They're not going to come uh, loose too, too easily. But obviously that thread locker is very important in these parts. So we're going to do the same on the other one, screw it down, it stops, and then just a little bit of tightness. Then we've got these little collars right here, this little collar we have to tighten down still, but you want to take the grips and hold the case and pull it, just like this, 
real nice and tight and make sure that that uh, that little pin in there seated properly or else you'll have problems with uh, your helicopter you could have problems so we're going to loosen this screw and we're going to take some blue thread locker right here put it on the screw just like so and then line up you're going to want to push also this collar forward just make sure that there's no slop and then we're going to line up that flat spot in there and then screw down the set screw and then make and then loose it a little bit and then rock it back and forth just to make sure you're on that on the uh, the set screw and then push your driver forward just to uh, make sure that you're uh, you get that shat, that collar nice and tight against the bearing and then we're tightening it and then a little turn until it stops same thing on the other side if you have that lined up you'll notice in there you can see the flat spot no problem so that will confirm that we are properly seated coat it with some blue thread locker we're going to tighten this in just like so and then a little snug so that one these bolts you want to these little set screws on the on this collar uh, are going to be the same as you did on here so in between like an eighth and a quarter turn of tightness so once it stops so there you go you got everything put together pull this back and forth make sure that you don't feel any like rocking pull this back and forth make sure there's no slop and there you go this is all perfect it should spin very freely and I hope this you guys enjoyed this video hope this was helpful uh, thanks for watching and have fun flying.